Welcome back to Subnautica, my island dwelling friends. So, big episode last time. Uh, sorry I missed my Sunday episode, I couldn't get to recording. Uh, and I got, and uh, it was nice to wait for a bit, a bit of nice feedback from you lot. Because um, I think I was a bit confused about the the people here. They're, they're, at, they're not from our ship. I think it was the, the name Degazi I was getting mixed up with the name of of someone being who was being transported on the Aurora, maybe. Uh, I think I just got them mixed up. I didn't realise the, the Degazi was its own ship that crash landed here. And it was like maybe a small ship, an explorer ship, a pirate ship, something like that. Um, so these people, this captain, the Scottish guy and his son and the, and his like bodyguard, the mercenary, aren't from our ship at all. Uh, which I, I, I think I was kind of there, but I, I just... The, the the name of their ship being I think it was the Degazi right uh, that's what threw me off I thought that was a person's name um, now um, I am going to take ingredients with me to plant but uh, my inventory is very full but um, we've got more of the island to explore um, so in terms of what I may be doing in this episode uh, we're going to head over to that extra lookout which is obviously another Degazi crew structure um, and then I might try and actually build on the island in the in the central bit where I've left my sea moth um, with what kind of sporadic materials we've got um, if I could build a radio and a fabricator and a basic room I think that would be golden and then I can maybe zoom back to the pod and you know, deconstruct what I've put left over there, the, the test build that I've put over there, and then bring those those materials back with me. And uh, But I, I don't know how, if you can build on land and then have a, like a, a tube going down into stuff below. I'm not sure how it works, but I imagine we'll find out. So um, I know where this stuff is for planting the seeds, so don't worry, I am going to... you. you if it's it's useful to plant, I will come back for it. Uh, I just want to keep my uh, inventory inventory nice and, and free. Wow, the draw distance is not looking too hot. I thought I had the draw distance. Where is it? Is it on here? Oh, no, no, there's a, there is no draw distance thing. Field of view is, is, is not the same. Da, 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 da. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Right, let's uh, try and find a way over to the other kind of lookout. Be careful not to run off the edge of the cliff. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll explore the rest of the island. Um, we've obviously got the Aurora to explore once we get the laser cutter. Or you told me that the the propulsion cannon is useful there as well. I think I think it was more to move objects. Uh, but I think we jumped over those objects, so I don't think we necessarily need that to explore the rest of the Aurora. Now, how do we get over the... Oh, there's the bridge. I wonder if they like terraformed that somehow. I know that these bridges do form naturally sometimes. That's where we've already explored. There's the, the plants that the there's what they planted to to live off of, which is still edible. So. And we know that, obviously, I think the order you were supposed to explore would to be the Aurora, this island, and then the Mushroom Cave. Because they obviously tried to move to the Mushroom Cave, but things went wrong. We'll be able to explore that more thoroughly now that the Seamoth is, has the 300 meter depth restriction now instead of 200. Which is uh, will be a lifesaver instead of just scraping the ceiling. <laughs> Trying to find a way in. Recording check, we're all good. Okay, that was easier than I thought to get over here. Uh, 
Thank you. We do need some more. Oh, let's not waste it. We can just eat, use the trees, right? Well, not that we've got any space for trees now. Um, bunch of empty batteries. Yeah, I, w I, w I don't know if you can expand this. It does look like maybe it will go maybe to there. So that would be an extra what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. That'd be an extra 24. I doubt it's going to expand that much. I'd love it to, but... What are you telling me to scan? A fern palm. This specimen was first identified in an artificial grow bed on, this, on the island. It's not listed in existing flora databases, so it's unclear whether or not it is native to this planet. The genetic code shares some features with other local plant life. This may be the result of DNA transfusion rather than natural evolution. Right. So they were growing lantern fruits in here as well. An indoor grow bed, nice. Near blueprint acquired. Acquired. Uh oh. Um, okay, that seems like it's it in here. The view's not as nice as it could be because the windows are all dirty. I don't think we can like deconstruct someone else's building. Oh, 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 that was close. Bart Toggle's log number three. Return from the deep. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. This is his son. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. There's always the view, Bart. So they died down there. Him saying that they're part of the ecosystem. Maybe they got eaten. Maybe they died down there. I don't know whether there's a deeper meaning to that. Right, the gassy survivors. Right, right, right. So when we've got Paul, Paul Torgel's log and Bart's log, which I imagine we'll find more of in the mushroom cave. That's the indoor grow bed. Designed for, exclusive, designed for use exclusively inside regulated habitat modules. The interior grow bed is more compact than the outdoor version and features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system. Okay, so... It's tough to, uh, without placing beacons everywhere, it's tough to know where, everywhere we've uh, explored. I really wish we had binoculars. That tree is interesting. I forgot about that. Because th that, that looks like nothing else here. It's not shit. Is there a way over to that tree? Oh no. I'm dead. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm a very inexperienced playing on mouse and keyboard. I'm going to misclick. Is there a... I don't think that there's a path up there, so maybe we just try and slide down here. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? Oh this was this was a mistake. Dammy tree, why did you have to be so interesting? Oh, oh. Okay, 
I'm really abusing the physics here. The game physics. Whew. Okay, rocks do fall off from time to time. Weird, it kind of looks like, like a hangman's tree, doesn't it? Weird that we can't scan it, considering how different... Oh no, there are other... For God's sake, Matt, there's trees like this everywhere. Honestly. Now I'm trapped. Okay, this is not the way. <laughs> Can we at least maybe jump in the water? Man, I really appreciate the stickiness of the physics here. Oh. <laughs> Let's channel our inner Nathan Drake and all of his unrealistic climbing stunts. I think we made it. <laughs> Eat it, gravity. As if I didn't notice these trees are everywhere. The proposed Degazi habitat, yeah. Should be, yeah, there's the indoor grow bed. Uh. Yeah, Keen's last broadcast, we don't need that anymore, because that leads here. In the proposed Degazi habitat, we've we've got two markers for that, because we found it in kind of two different obscure ways. Now, it feels like I've explored most of this, but there is still the question of the, um, the Stargate. Wait, which one he uses is a um, full bow tree. Oh, none of these are full boat. There we go. I'm gonna have to consume something here. Right, sea moth. Uh, we'll head back to the sea moth, and I'm gonna mess around trying to do some building. Now, uh, I might not have everything that I need to, to build certain rooms. Like if I wanted to build, um... oh no, we could build a multi-purpose room. Okay, this looks like the central bit. Maybe. Might need to go up before we can go down. Yeah, I was I was trying to think like the the, the only other like reasonably like non walking simulator game that I played mouse and keyboard was Skyrim, and I was okay with that. But I think I just went back to playing controller after that and I just because I grew up as a console player so I just find it more comfortable huh? but, oh no yeah. I'm sorry Seamoth did I damage you I damaged myself and I've got no more medkits have I Welcome aboard, Captain. thank you all right now uh, if we're gonna build we might need to move Mr. Seymour. So if I wanted to build here, maybe... Right, have we got the builder? Don't tell me I've not brought... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right. If I wanted to build a multi-purpose room... We could build one right here. Uh, 
and oh no 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 that's not what I meant does that give you all of it back yeah yeah oh man the sun's gone away right so maybe we move the seamoth a little bit I don't think there are any leviathans around here. The only worry would be these things attaching themselves to our base. But I don't know if we can build because this, we're not close enough to the seabed. I don't know if, if they all need props, uh, um, columns or whatever, feet to stand on. How far down does it go? Is that a brain coral? Okay, we're 124 meters down. This feels like it might be too deep to build a base. Okay, so we've got like an outlier here. Like a ridge. What are these things? These look like they might be man made. Maybe? No? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. An anchor pod? Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, it is an indigenous life form. Anchor pods. These unusual. Hang on. These unusual flora specimens have been encountered exclusively on the deep reefs. They consist of a large spherical gas-filled membrane anchored to the seafloor by its root system. At these depths, it's unlikely this structure is designed to enhance access to sunlight. But rather, the pod's ability to propagate. Once the pods attain sufficient height, they burst, releasing spores which catch the currents and disperse around the local area. Oh, they burst. That's not good. These things are everywhere. This does seem reasonably... Uh oh. I mean, it's a reasonably peaceful then I saw a fish. Okay, so if we just go directly up from... Maybe we can build the moon pool here, maybe. I don't know if it's too deep. Or if we'd even be able to build enough pipes to get to the top. Um... Oh, hang on. Wait, what are you? A spade fish. It's Mr. Spade fish. Medium sized herbivore found in deep waters. Has a single eye. All oh, right. Observed swimming near to the seabed from where it can keep its one eye on predators in the water above it. Interesting. Mottled green coloration. Commonly encountered in plant-rich environments, the spadefish is well adapted to hide amongst the vegetation. Behaviour. Spadefish tend to move in loose shoals, and despite their low speed, will take necessary measures to avoid confirmed predators. Assessment. Edible. Right, let's just move to the side for a second. Right, so we've got this, like, ridge here. Maybe this could be, like, the, the, bait, the bottom part of the base. I just have to test, like, if we are going to build stuff, like, um, the moon pool. So, like, how high up could this go before it's not viable? Not very far at all. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. So, we could build this here. As a place to but then we'd have to build like a pipe going all the way up which I do quite like the idea of to be honest um, how do I exit the thing right click obviously okay so it's just it's worth seeing 30 seconds whether I can um, Build a pipe long enough 
to get down here because I really like the idea of having part of the base in deep sea, in the deep water. Right, I, I will build the multi-purpose room where I said I was going to. We can always deconstruct stuff, right? There's no, I like that there's not really any consequences for building. And the sun's back now. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's try a multi-purpose room. So where are the feet? It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. So how the hell do we get in? <laughs> right, um, we need to increase this hull integrity. So we've built the room. So like if I wanted to build a vertical connector, could I do that? No? Feels like I should be able to. So, what can you connect to this room? So I can put windows on it. I've not got any glass though. So we'd need to build a hatch. And then maybe a ladder. Um, I feel like this vertical connector should be built, Would we should be able to build that somewhere, but it's just kind of floating, have I kind of done this really weirdly? So I need a hatch, well, I've got no quartz. Maybe just need to go and do some resource gathering. Um, where was the solar? There's the solar panels. Maybe I've built it in a, like a really obscure place. Maybe it would be an idea to build it on that cliff edge. Let's try that. I like that idea actually. Oh, I thought that was the way out. <laughs> right, let's see if we can find the cliff edge and then if we have the multi-purpose room and then we could have like a, a tube coming out the other end. Uh, over, over to the cliff edge and then down and then we could maybe build the moon pool there. Uh oh. Oh, 
Okay. So there's the pool. Or the plunge pool, or just this central entrance point. Where should we build it? Yeah. Sure, it's not very safe, but... So we could technically <laughs> build it here. And then we need a hatch, right? So we can, like, kind of build stuff with, sorry, without having this, having the ingredients yet. So then we could place a ladder getting up to the hatch, right? No? Sorry, I keep pressing tab instead of... Is it not letting me? Because I don't have any of the materials? You need like a few of them or something. Or do you need to finish building the current one, maybe? Like if I wanted to build this... So I could place the observatory. Yeah. Okay, promising. Uh, but I'm really short on materials, so... Um, we maybe need to head back, get rid of a few of these bits. Like, we could maybe just leave the rebreather and the sea glide back at the pod just to free up space to bring as many crafting materials as possible um, yeah I think that's a good idea right let's find a bulbo tree just before we go I know I just drunk some water but right I know it doesn't it looks like the feet are kind of in a weird place but I like the idea of where it is. Let's top it off. And then, um, well, we've, we do have a radio message. We've got the Degazi wreck. Um, and we've got the the locked room at the Aurora. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so we've got we've got goals at least. So let's head back to the life pod. Gather some crafting materials. Make some space in a. Uh, in our inventory. That almost looked like a triangular shape then. I wonder why that mercenary wanted them to build so deep underwater when they knew that there were probably predators here. Maybe they didn't know as much about the Leviathans. I just I need to get a bit of a base built somewhere, right? Um, 
Hello, Mr. Reef back. I realise it might not be a good place to build if I have to build like 20 pipes leading down to a moon pool. It's 200 metres deep, but I think that that's kind of cool, to be honest. It might not work though. You might not be able to build a, a, a base like that. Maybe the reef backs will, will uh, sail over the uh, swim over there and bash into everything. Uh, so the only thing I edited out of that last episode, because uh, I went the wrong way, I got I went to I went so far away that I got warned about Leviathan class predators, about there being a lot of them in in a certain area. Okay, where's our little mini test base? It's over there. Oh, hang on, first things, let's check that radio message. Hello? This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. <laughs> Someone left a comment that was just like the names of the different part of the ship, and I still don't understand. Uh, a distress signal has been received from LifePod 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available phot photographic data has been downloaded and analysed. Where is that? With a lot of kind of rocky outcrops. Low ecological activity. I'm not sure. Where's, and one of you told me that I was maybe a bit wrong about this. Maybe it's on this side. Yeah, it is on this side. What the hell was I thinking? It is on this side. What? Oh, Matt, honestly. Right. Um, let's go and check him out then. Life pod 4. He's on this side somewhere. That was a belly flop if I've ever seen one. How did I get that wrong? I must have just overthought it. Okay, so the angle was from one of those ones, right? Let's not drive into a reef back. There's one right there, we would have drove into him. A lot of them here. They start shooting stuff at us if we get too close. They're moving islands essentially, right? Although they don't come to the surface that often. Right, let's not get too close to any more lethal styles of Leviathan. We're getting a bit cl too close for comfort here. And it's getting dark.
Man, I don't want to do this in the dark. Uh, let me just remember what it said. Transmission approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. This is the port. Say northwest. So that's roughly here, right? It should be around. Unless it means it's... Uh, I don't think it means it's on the surface. It's sunk, obviously. Oh, it's located at sea level. Huh. I guess we need to be accurate then. Alright, I'm just going to go and check what that comment said. Okay, so the port is what an idiot like me would call the left side. <laughs> Which is here, right? And it's on the surface, which is what's... Unless I've already found it by accident. Okay, 150 meters this way. Have I already found this? And I just it just didn't click. Right, Mr. Reef back. No, this isn't clicking at all. I need the sun. I need the sun to come back up. Surely we'd be able to see it from the life pod. Hey, don't eat me. Like, by accident. I just need the sun to come up, dude. like I've just spotted it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We should be on the lookout here. Don't like this at all. What did that say? What did that say? Can be open from where? Ah! A 
the data box. Creature decoy. To any Altera crew, landed in area of significant alien activity, encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive, spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, I presume I miscalculated. I guess you miscalculated, buddy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Get me out of here. Let's just get a little bit of a distance away from... Did he call them a Reaper? That must be Pincer Face. He must be a Reaper. Maybe like a Grim Reaper. Maybe the things look like scythes. Maybe that's why they've called them that. Is there a wreckage or two over here? Someone got a bit annoyed that I wasn't scanning stuff inside boxes. I mean, I've, I have been when I've seen stuff, but you don't always see, right? Now, we do obviously need a fair amount of titanium, but we'll get quite a bit from... Um... We do get a fair amount from the test habitat that I built. Okay, there's nothing really here except salvage. If there isn't, then if there is, then I'm sorry, I've not seen it. Let's uh, get back to our building objectives and not get sidetracked again. Right, let's deconstruct. Oh no, we need to get rid of a few things first. This is pretty full, isn't it? But we're going to need some of these materials. Get rid of you. Not going to need that for the time being. Copper wire, probably need that. Some lead, sure. Then, do we keep the rebreather? I think we need the radiation one more. Let's put the rebreather in for now. We'll come back for it. We just need a bit of space to carry crafting materials. Uh, we might need some mesh. A prawn suit poster. Why would we need this? Let's just keep that in there for now. We've got one of everything else. We might need a bunch of spare of the empty batteries, which can help craft. Uh, mm. I might store the sea glide as well. 
just for space at the minute. Yeah, we need all this stuff. Right, the thing now, if we can just craft a radio and we need copper ore, table coral, and go. Uh, did I not take the gold out? I didn't take the gold out. Table coral. It's coral tube. Right, the table coral is this stuff, isn't it? How have I got no copper ore? Did I leave any in here? Nope. Nope. Yes. And then... We can deconstruct a few of these bits. I just wanted to test whether you can build these pipe underneath pipes one after the other. If you, yeah, you can build like loads of them, so we might be able to build all the way down to that bit, uh, 200 meters down. It'd probably cost a lot. And two titanium, me. Okay, so we've got um, a bit of space left, so let's deconstruct a little bit. We'll get some glass from this, so that's useful. Hatch, yes please. The quartz. Basic compartments. How much space have we got? Right, we're pretty full up, and um, we maybe need some more glass. But we can always go exploring on the seabed for that stuff once we get back to, to our new little base. I just need a way into the place, right? Right, seam off, let's go. What else can I put in this quick slot? repair tool. Okay, I think that that's, that's reasonable at the minute. Um, we can eat some trees once we get there. Um, if I can remember how to get back. Southwesterly direction. Right, let's head back. We've got 75% juice on the Seamoth, so that's enough to kind of get there and back. At least one more time. If I need to do a return trip, I don't know if I'll edit this stuff out at the minute, just because this is kind of like the first attempt at properly building something. But if I can just get like some lockers, I get in, get a hatch, then I can just keep storing materials in those in those places, and then we're we're up, we're up and running. Then right, we can get the radio, the fabricator, and uh, and a locker. Have we got uh, we got blueprints for a locker? Yeah, we got lockers, and we yeah a wall locker, small, large. We'll have the bulbo trees.
There's some sustenance for the time being. Yeah, should work out. I mean, this base might be a complete failure, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know, it, it seems cool to have one bit really high up and one bit really deep and then you have like a pipe that you slide all the way down to the bottom floor. There's the island. Home sweet home. Now in future we'll be hopefully going down like 200 meters. Maybe you can de deconstruct their stuff. I just didn't have the repair the building tool out, right? Right, where's our entry point? There it is. I'm gonna need a lot of titanium to build pipes down there. <laughs> okay. We're swimming on land now. There we go. Okay, let's get this built and then we can eat some trees. That's what happens when you rush. I'm not paying attention to where I'm walking. There we go. Right, Bob. Uh, no, we need to build this first. Warning: emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, that tree is an issue. Can we um? <laughs> How do we get rid of that tree? It's encroaching on my zen. Okay, so it has got like proper feet in decent places now, even though it looks a bit suspect. That uh, tree, oh, that's going to bother me. That is going to bother me no end. We, c we can't have that, guys, can we? We can't have that. Um, I don't have enough space to deconstruct and get the materials back though. Oops. Is there a slightly better location? I just I just want to get rid of these little trees. It's not perfect, you know? Let's just mess around with building first. Right, so if we uh, maybe build a locker somewhere, we can build a bunch of them. Uh, there was, there were wall lockers though, right? Maybe that'll be more efficient building a few of them. I don't know. What's the uh, cost difference? Two titanium and we need quartz for that. Let's build one of these first and just see. Um, oh, that's really big. That is really big. Fair enough, dude. Right, so we can just stick a few 
empty batteries in there for the time being. Get them back when we need to craft. Fair enough. Right, we need, could do with some windows, right? Um, and some we could do with uh, some solar panels. Uh, how much does what does a window cost? We just need one glass. Have we only got one glass? Yes. Uh, fabricator would be good. And we have enough. Does it have to? Does it go on a wall? Yeah. So we could have several things on like each wall. Right. So we could have the fabricator. Uh, we could have the radio. Um, what else could we stick on the wall? Power cell charger, sure. Uh, we've got the indoor grow bed. Um, we don't need that because we're not underwater, right? Um, so the next thing would be some windows and so, and a solar panel, right? Powers habitat oxygen generation and other habitat modules converts available sunlight into low power electrical energy. We've got enough for that, but um, I think we need to be outside first. Have I not got the ingredient? Yeah, I've got the what we need. God, I can't see. Where do you build them? Do you, do you stick it on the top? Uh, I need a way on top of my base. Um, you're going to have to bear with me here. Huh? Come on now. <laughs> Surely. Right, we need a ladder. I don't think the ladder's going to work, though. Can I not just, like, fix that to the edge? No? Maybe? Okay, what about uh, compartments? What the hell? There we go. That's kind. Of, that's what I want. But on the other side, we can probably do that from the inside, right? Yeah, this is what I'd like. And then <laughs> I can build a vertical connector underneath. Right? that work? Is 
Sort of. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so finicky, isn't it? Huh. That's not quite where I thought it was going to be. Did, uh... I think you guys can see what I'm trying to do. Um... Seek fluid intake. Yes, of course. Huh? Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, I'm getting there. What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? It's like something burping. Vital signs stabilizing. Sweet bulbo treat. Oh, sorry, tree. Gonna, it's gonna need to be some finagling. Is that the right word? I think it's an American expression. To construct the epic base that I require. Right, which angle would be best? I think that wall there. No, not you. Yeah. What? It... Okay, we need to do that from the interior. Anyway, guys. Uh, this episode's got way too long. I didn't expect it to run this long, so I'll leave the episode there. I'm just going to carry on building, try to build in the next episode. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> annoying this is, but uh, it might not even be possible to build to like extend this all the way down. But it's what I it's what I desire. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's a perfect way to end the episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everybody, never trust and on create. I'll uh, see you back on the island.